The Gulf of Carpentaria 14 degrees south, 139 degrees east, is a large, shallow sea enclosed on three sides by northern Australia and bounded on the north by the Arafura Sea the body of water that lies between Australia and New Guinea. The northern boundary is generally defined as a line from Slade Point, Queensland the northwestern corner of Cape York Peninsula in the northeast, to Cape Arnhem, Northern Territory the easternmost point of Arnhem Land in the west. At its mouth, the gulf is 590 km wide, and further south, 675 km. The north-south length exceeds 700 km. It covers a water area of about 300,000 square kilometers. The general depth is between 55 and 66 meters 30 and 36 fm and does not exceed 82 meters 45 fm. The tidal range in the Gulf of Carpentaria is between 2 and 3 meters. The Gulf and adjacent Sahul Shelf were dry land at the peak of the last ice age 18,000 years ago when global sea level was around 120 meters below its present position. At that time a large, shallow lake occupied the center of what is now the Gulf. The Gulf hosts a submerged coral reef province that was only recognised in 2004. The first European explorer to visit the region and Australia was the Dutch Willem Janszoon, whose name is also written as Jans, in his 1605 to 6 voyage. His fellow countryman Jan Carstenszoon or Carstens visited in 1623 and named the Gulf in honour of Peter de Carpentier, at that time the Governor General of the Dutch East Indies. Abel Tasman also explored the coast in 1644. The region was later explored and charted by Matthew Flinders in 1802 and 1803. The first overland expedition to reach the Gulf was the Burke and Wills expedition, led by Robert O'Hara Burke and William John Wills which left Melbourne, Victoria in August 1860 and reached the mouth of the Binnow River in February 1861. Geography <laughs> 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 The land bordering the gulf is generally flat and low-lying. To the west is Arnhem Land, the top end of the Northern Territory, and Groot Island, the largest island in the gulf. To the east is the Cape York Peninsula and Torres Strait which joins the gulf to the Coral Sea. The area to the south like the Cape York Peninsula, part of Queensland is known as the Gulf Country. The climate is hot and humid with two seasons per year. The dry season lasts from about April until November and is characterized by very dry southeast to east winds, generated by migratory winter high-pressure systems to the south. The wet season lasts from December to March. Most of the year's rainfall is compressed into these months, and during this period, many low-lying areas are flooded. The Gulf is prone to tropical cyclones during the period between November and April. The Gulf experiences an average of three cyclones each year that are thought to transport sediments in a clockwise direction along the Gulf's coast. In many other parts of Australia, there are dramatic climatic transitions over fairly short distances. The Great Dividing Range, which parallels the entire east and southeast coast, is responsible for the typical pattern of a well watered coastal strip, a fairly narrow band of mountains, and then a vast, inward draining plain that receives little rainfall. In the Gulf Country, however, there are no mountains to restrict rainfall to the coastal band and the transition from the profuse tropical growth of the seaside areas to the arid scrubs of central Australia is gradual. In September and October the morning glory cloud appears in the southern Gulf. The best vantage point to see this phenomenon is in the Burketown area shortly after dawn. It has been hypothesized that the Gulf experienced a major asteroid impact event in 536 AD. Topic. Coral reefs Topic. The Gulf of Carpentaria is known to contain fringing reefs and isolated coral colonies, but no near-surface patch or barrier reefs exist in the Gulf at the present time. However, this has not always been the case. Expeditions carried out by Geoscience Australia in 2003 and in 2005 aboard the RV Southern Surveyor revealed the presence of a submerged coral reef province covering at least 300 square kilometres in the southern gulf. The patch reefs have their upper surfaces at a mean water depth of 28.6 plus or minus 0.5 meters, were undetected by satellites or aerial photographs, and were only recognised using multibeam swath sonar surveys supplemented with seabed sampling and video. 
Their existence points to an earlier, late quaternary phase of framework reef growth under cooler climate and lower sea level conditions than today. Major rivers in the top end the Roper River, Walker River and Wilton River flow into the Gulf, the Cox River, Calvert River, Leichhardt River, MacArthur River, Flinders River, Norman River and the Gilbert River drain the Gulf Country. A number of rivers flow from the Cape York Peninsula into the Gulf, including Smithburn River, Mitchell River, Alice River, Stoughton River, Mission River, Wenlock River and Archer River. Industry. Topic. Extensive areas of seagrass beds have allowed commercial shrimp operations in the Gulf. Zinc, lead and silver is mined from the MacArthur River zinc mine and exported via the Gulf. Another zinc mine, Century Zinc is in the Gulf on the Queensland side of the border. It exports its product through the port facility at Karumba. The cattle industry is also a very important part of the regional economy in the Gulf. According to the then chairman of the Gulf of Carpentaria, S. Commercial Fishermen's organization, Gary Ward, the number of sightings of Indonesian vessels fishing illegally in the Gulf's waters increased in early 2005. By 2011 the numbers of illegal fishing boat interceptions had declined significantly with the cause attributed to enforcement efforts and education programs in Indonesia. Major port plan in 2012, a major new port located to the west of Kurumba and rail connection to the Northwest Minerals Province was proposed by Carpentaria Rail. The advantages of a port at Kurumba compared to Townsville was that it was three or four days closer to Asia via shipping routes. Physiography <laughs> 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 The Gulf is one of the distinct physiographic sections of the larger and surrounding Carpentaria Basin Province, which in turn is part of the larger East Australian Basin's Physiographic Division. References External links Morning Glory Cloud video footage and video of the Gulf region around Burktown Morning Glory Cloud meteorology Aerial video of Swears Island in the Gulf of Carpentaria Video of Burktown and the Gulf from the air Video of discovery of coral reefs in the Gulf of Carpentaria <laughs>